Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sean or Mustang09 bringing you a brand new video. And today we're gonna talk about something that I actually just purchased probably like two weeks ago now. And I'm gonna show it to you. So give me one second. I'm gonna set the tripod up so that you guys can, I can use both hands. I need to use both hands to show you what I got. Here's what I picked up. This, my friends, is a Glock 19. It is the new Gen 4. This is known as a compact nine millimeter. So there's subcompact, which is smaller than this, compact, full size, or standard, I think. And then there's like a target shooting one that's a little bit bigger. Very cool, very cool gun. I, uh, like I said, I just got it about two weeks ago and I, <laughs> I've already fell in love with it. I've gone to the range and shot it twice now and I've put, I think like almost 500 rounds through it. So I've been putting some time in with it quickly. Comes with uh, three different magazines. Uh, these just have like some range ammo in it. Um, kind of like working out the springs right now. It's really stiff to get the, the ammo in there. Um, and then this one is uh, the one that has different ammo in it. And it has uh, the Hornady Tactical Critical Defense or something like that. It's, uh, it looks vicious. The reason why I went with this is because, well, a couple things. One, I wanted something that is pretty universal, something that um, shit hits the fan kind of thing. I can go out and get parts for it. I can get more magazines for it very easily. Uh, nine millimeter ammo is super common, so it's not as expensive as like 40 Smith & Wesson. The other reason is <clears throat> I really do like the look of this thing. It's cleared out just so you guys can see there's no magazine in it. But I really do like the look of it. It's very clean and tactical looking. The only thing that I do want to change on it are the sights. So the factory sights, not a huge fan of. And I uh, done a lot of research and found that like Trijicon makes some sights and um, there's another company and I can't think of the name. I think Truglo maybe is the brand. So all the gun nuts out there, correct me if I'm wrong, Truglo. Couple of things I picked up are some P-Mags. So these are made by Magpul. Um, they're replacement from the fact, they're like not Glock branded, but I shot with these at the range the other day just because I wanted some range mags or, or some mags where you could do like some some dry fire stuff where you're at the house and you're you're pulling it and then you're throwing the magazine you're putting the other one in and, and then you're doing it again and practice and whatever. So that's cool to do. It's clear again. That way you can get some practice at the house with it. Um, they're cheap. They're 15 bucks. Um, I found this awesome gun place in Fort Worth. It's called Defender Outdoors. Not paid to say that. It was just really awesome. So if you're a fan of guns, Defender Outdoors is a pretty sick place. Now I currently do not have my license to carry. I'm working on getting that. They changed it from considering it a CHL, which is a concealed handgun license in Texas. Now that they've made um, open carry legal, it's now just called a license to carry. So once you get this license, um, by following the rules and regulations, you can either choose to conceal it or carry it outwards on your hip. I did pick up this holster. It's called a sticky holster. Um, once again, this is the LG2 sticky holster, but once again, not paid to say any of this. Uh, I just saw some stuff online about it and I really, really liked it, so I picked it up. Uh, the gun fits in there. Awesome. Slides right in like this. And this is made of like a rubberized material so that even when like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you, but even when I'm in my basketball shorts, once you get it, you just pull and it stays. And it's just amazing. It's cool how, how good they made that work. What I wanted to show you with this is uh, what you guys can do with this in your car. It's something that I've seen online and I didn't make this up on my own at all. Um, I actually saw it from another YouTube channel, another Texan, uh, Dallas native. His name is Coleon Noir. So if you're into guns, I highly suggest go and check him out. He's an NRA spokes guy, um, makes really good content and he fights the good fight for those of us that uh, really believe in guns and uh, that guns don't kill people, stupid people kill people. As you can see here, there's just my simple, beautiful Mustang hat, which, uh, man, I should make these and, and sell these to you guys. That would be sick. But uh, no shameless plug there. You pull this up, and there you see the gun. So concealed, not concealed. And I want to show you how quick it is to gain access to this. Let's say real quick... Um, Turn the air off. Gate or whatever it is they turn the radio off. Bend in skin. Turn it on. Leave it on, baby. Okay, say you're sitting outside, you're just hanging out, or you're at a drive-thru, you're at a red light, and somebody comes to the car, windows open. Um, they come up with a gun and you're freaking out and you're like, oh my goodness, what's gonna happen? So simply like this, you're going to want to pull you can 
you can turn your body to face them and you can move the hat away very quickly and pull the gun. And so it's a very smooth, easy process. I mean, it's very concealed at this point. Nobody's seeing this, even from the backside. You're not, you're not suspicious of that. I mean, that's, that's a hat. I mean, if you're a gun guy, then yes, you're gonna know that something's probably underneath there. I'll explain to you why I think it's good for citizens to be armed. Um, I think it's for, for the safety of myself, my wife, and my child, I want to be a protector. Basically, that's it. So I want to have the skills and I want to have the assets to protect my family. Yeah, so that's the reasoning for, for me picking up a gun. And I do want to address the terrible, terrible, tragic events that happened in Dallas. Um, as many of you know, I'm in the DFW Metroplex. And you may also remember I did a ride along in a car with my buddy Zach who... Is a, is a police officer um, in Dallas. And he is a police officer where those shootings happened. And I just thank the Lord that by some random circumstance, he happened to take off that night. He ended up going in. Um, he took off to get some rest because he was going on a road trip the next day. But he ended up going in around 2 a.m. Um, to support his brothers and sisters in blue and uh, defend the city of Dallas against this maniac terrible terrible person who shot up cops and it just it's so gut-riching to talk about and that's part so that part of the reason why I, I wanted to get a gun and, and get my concealed is I've been talking about it for years and you know it's this really cutesy idea when you talk about it and you're like hey I want to get my concealed um, and then something something like this happens and it's on your home turf, and you see it in other places, and you're like, this is Texas. Anybody comes to Texas with a gun, somebody else is going to have a license to carry, and they're going to end his career at shooting whoever he's trying to shoot. There was a video that came out of a guy filming from the top of a rooftop, and he obviously had the advantage on the, on the shooter. And just to think, like, somebody made a comment about this, and they said, think about instead of if he had a camera phone, and he had a rifle, and he could shoot the shooter. And it would have all been over right there. And that really kind of like resonated with me. And it's like, in a time of need, can you be somebody that somebody can rely on? And even if it's not just a stranger, even if it's your family, like can your family rely on you in a time of need? And if it's just having the right action plan and knowing how to handle the situation, like getting out of there safely, um, taking cover, calling the authorities, um, all of that, like that, that all plays into it. I'm not saying like I got a gun to like, I don't know. You don't take it that way because it's not something that I have like this uh, cockiness attitude towards where nobody can jack with me because I've got a weapon. That's not it at all. It's more of a confidence of safety and security and the fact that I can be reliable to my family that they can be protected. And I, it's, a, it's a tough, tough thing to talk about. Because there's so many different viewpoints on it, whether they should have guns or not have guns. And uh, if you don't think we should have guns, then I'm sorry, I don't, can't agree with you on that. All I really wanted to do was show you the new gun, um, address the shootings that happened in Dallas and Baton Rouge and all over the nation. And if I could just say one thing, man, it's um, love each other and be happy and share joy and don't be so negative and harsh on people. And, and I even do it. And that's something that I want to turn around and not be um, condescending and, and not jump to judgment. Just be nice. And I ask that you, you say a prayer for all those police officers out there. Even in just if you just pray for the ones in your city, for their safety. And thank the Lord that you have men and women out there that are willing to risk their life for you. Think about that. Because that's huge. I mean, somebody's willing to take a bullet that you don't even know for you. Um, and that's pretty, pretty intense. That's really all I really wanted to show you was that I, uh, I picked up a new gun. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I, I love the fact that I'm going to have the ability to protect my family. And I just wanted to show you a good way that I've seen online to conceal in the car and remind you, this is in the state of Texas. So make sure you check your local laws and make sure all of this is allowed and approved. I'm not like a professional 
gun concealing guy. So uh, <laughs> make sure you take a class. I'm gonna take a class. When I take a class, I'll share more with you. So I just really wanted to show you guys uh, my new pickup, uh, what it was, and that I'm excited about it, and I'm excited about getting my license to carry, and really that's it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. It's been Sean or Mustang09, and we will catch you on the next video. Take it easy, boys. That was a weird exit. On the next video, I don't know what I'm doing. Take it easy, boys.